So about a year ago, Jeremy Grantham, who is a value investing icon, he said that U.S. stocks are in a super bubble. He's calling for at least a 50% retracement or crash, as I would like to put it. A year ago, you predicted an epic collapse in stock prices, and you told me it would rival the 1929 crash and the dot-com bust of 2000, 2001. 2021 was a great year for stocks. If I'm not mistaken, the seventh best in a half century. And, and this has been exactly how the great bubbles have broken. The, the blue chips, the S&P 500, have kept strong right up to the last second. And wave after wave of the stocks that had made the real running uh, peel off and drop. At the risk of putting words in your mouth, you are as certain as you were then, if not more? I would say clearly more. If you're right, and stocks are in a multi-sigma deviation from the statistical trend, tell me what happens. The S&P 500 peaked at almost 4,800 points. Where does it bottom? The trend line, being slightly generous, is 2,500. And most of the great bubbles, the super bubbles, go below trend and stay there for quite a while. Uh, in the Greenspan era, that tendency stopped. In 2000, yes, the NASDAQ came down 82%, which was fairly brutal. Amazon came down 92 But the Federal Reserve raced to the rescue so loudly and strongly that they stopped the decline in the S&P at trend line. It only declined 50%. 50% is a hell of a big decline, uh, but it was only enough to get it back then to trend. This time trend is at most 2,500. And I would expect, even if the Federal Reserve tries to do the same, it will be hard to prevent the market from declining to that level. So we're talking about a decline of, certainly from the peak, of almost 50%. Almost 50%. And, of course, it declined very quickly 50% in 1929. It declined 50% in three years in 2000. And the housing market, which was another great American super bubble, went all the way back to trend. Uh, in three years. What's up you guys? Welcome to the Wall Street Vibe where we're giving you the vibe of the markets. If you like videos like this, be sure to... If you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel so that way you guys don't miss a thing for whenever I drop my next video. Also, turn on that little notification bell. So about a year ago, Jeremy Grantham, who is a value investing icon, he said that U.S. stocks are in a super bubble. He's calling for at least a 50% retracement or crash, as I would like to put it, uh, in the financial markets that will rival 1929. If you're not familiar with 1929, that was the year of the Great Depression starting. And... This is pretty alarming. A year ago, he gave a interview to Bloomberg and said that he believes it more so now than he did in 2021 when he was calling for, you know, stocks to crash in the U.S. And it's almost like the way everything is kind of unfolding here in the last couple of weeks, um, that his prophecy is likely to be true. Um, he's calling for at least the S&P 500 to retrace down to at least, at least, he's calling it at trend, 2,500, which is at least 50%, nearly 50% retracement. Uh, that is a full-blown crash that will rival the Great Depression. We have a lot of events that are kind of coming together to kind of make this true, in my opinion. Um, we have banks failing. We have interest rates rising back up. We have Fed rate hikes possibly on pause or possibly going to continue going up, which is going to put more pressure on banks. And it's going to be so that way we can try to tame inflation, right? Um, and then we have more, more money to be printed out 
right? Because they are going to be bailing out the depositors of all the failed banks. And then, and then here's one thing people tend to forget. One important piece of information that I feel like is going to be the straw that breaks the camel's back. I can't say for sure that this will happen, but just the possibility of it could still send the market heading south. And that is the debt limit. We have that coming up in June. Now, if both parties, Republicans and Democrats, cannot come together and to a bipartisan agreement to raise the debt limit, then that is going to cause the U.S. to default on its debt. And then that is going to send the market into a spiral. So guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you agree with Jeremy Grantham? Or do you think that there's like some rabbit that, you know, the government is going to be able to pull out of their hats to save the entire United States? Unfortunately, I don't think they have a big enough rabbit to pull out of that hat, to be honest, right? Um, I think there is an agenda here uh, to crash the financial markets in order to bring in some global currency, digital currency. But that's just my take on it. If you, so if you have something that you would like to let me know what you think could be happening um, or the cause of this uh, banking crisis, uh, let me know down in the comments below. And um, yeah, if you guys like content like this, Feel free to like, subscribe, and share it out. And then also make sure that you guys comment down in the comment section. It's really going to help out the channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. Again, my name is Flash. You guys be good. Peace.